way too complex for my IT brain. We know it's a shitty cool wheels kit. That doesn't fit. That edge should be on the underside. This has got to come down quite a bit. That's not aligned. It's a slightly deeper angle. It's to be lifted up, it's got to come up to here. There's a lot to be done at the back. Building the engine myself is, uh, yeah, on the too hard to do list. I've only ever taken an engine out of the car once, through twice, and that was the donor car that came from England and the URS4 that was crashed, that was a donor car. I've never built an engine, I've never even put an engine in a car before. So yeah, having it built by somebody else. Competition engine builder, so he's ported and polished the head so far. Got a nice shiny rocker cover. Some lovely, lovely things from SC, FCP Engineering. And lovely pistons, forged rods. Valve springs. Uh, there's a the crank, it's, that's all tested and straight and fine. And the block's been tested and skimmed <coughs> and painted. Lovely, little bit lovely. Grey. And then some other bits and pieces. So, yeah, there's no rush in that. I think he's going to build me that in the new year. But, yeah. Way too complex for my IT brain, I reckon. It only takes a small, tiny error to fuck up thousands of dollars of engine build, so yeah, that's on the go. So back to the car. I always knew that this angle was brought upwards and you do that by making a slit somewhere down here, all the way up there, up to the top, and the whole of this lifts up but I didn't realize that this lifted up and I haven't got any official drawings to work from. I'm just looking at photographs of other builders, etc., etc. And something that I overlooked is on a lot of them or proper ones, you'll see that there's a cut down there. So what they do is they put a cut down here and that allows you to bring that angle up a bit. So it's only a few degrees as you can see, but I didn't know that needed to happen. That was a surprise. So what I'm going to do to try and get these angles right, I'm going to fabricate a polycarb window. I'm not gonna use the real ones, don't wanna smash them. Get that in place to be able to set this angle, get this angle, this door shut, correct. One thing important to note at this point is that that door shut is completely incorrect. It's touching at the bottom and it's wider at the top, as you can see here. So the basic angle of this door is wrong. It's important to point that out right this minute because the next five minutes is concerned with sorting that out. And the reason it's so important to sort it out is because I'm a little worried at this point that it's not the shell that's moved and the reason why it's not lining up could be the hinges, but I don't know. So what I'm gonna do at this point is chuck the old coupe doors back on, which I know were aligned 100% correctly and see what that looks like. That'll tell me whether it's just these doors that are out or whether it's the shell. I really hope not. Yes, so no, that's correct. This is correct. That's correct. And hopefully I'll then be able to rejig things and get it in place. Start tidying these cuts up. And basically, set it in place and tack it in place. But also, to confirm that, what we'll do is we'll put the, um, the genuine Sport Quattro roof on, fix it at the back, and it should come over and lay on and end up meeting there. So those are the three things. The whole roof, the rear quarter window, and the door is how, hopefully, the correct 
dimensions will be achieved. So anyway, let's cut these windows first. This is the original rear quarter glass. I hope that you can see that. The lovely, lovely green one is a replica of a Sport Quattro. So, if we lay them over the top of each other, careful not to break them, because I'll tell you what, they weren't cheap. Thousand euros for a pair, in case you're wondering. So, if we get this line down there, correct. And then now you look at this, hopefully you can see that. Sport Quattro one in the top is a slightly deeper angle. So, let's measure those. And if we put the measure on. This is the original. Get that right. Forty two point eight degrees, apparently. Now, if you look at this one, you can see quite clearly, even if you can't speak clearly. That's out a bit. So, if we change the angle to match. 45 degrees, hmm, thought we like even angles. Anyway, so we can see that angle is different. That's the templates cut. One. Two. No, they're not the same. Haven't got the same curve, the same profile, but it doesn't matter. They're just there for size. Um, as long as this is 45 degrees, we're all good. This is what that angle looks like. Flush on that edge. Starts just under, and you can see how it runs out. So it's basically the thickness of the, uh, the flange. But by the time you get up to the top, a fair bit. So yeah, that's why there's a cut down here. Lift that up a little bit. Taking doors on and off is not the most interesting subject for video. So we'll do it by magic. That's one. Two. We may as well take the roof off. We don't need that. And on with the other doors. One. And how do these doors look? Just the same. For a little bit of adjustment and the hinges. The panel gap is pretty good. So I think it's just an adjustment issue. I don't think it's in danger of concertinering in the middle. If we look at this, this moves as well because there's nothing obviously connected over here. So I think that panel gap can be sorted out within final bodywork. But also what I've done, see the doors open and shut perfectly as they did before. And what I've also checked I've checked the dimensions from turret to turret, across and front to back, and they match what it was measured like months ago. So panic over, that door is okay. So let's put the um, two door ones back on, do the same. All right, that's the doors back on.
and that looks much better. Yeah, happy with that. We'll see how it shuts. Perfect. So now for the roof. And now for the proper roof. Magic. Well, vaguely looks like a sport quattro. Let's take a closer look. The air pillars seem pretty good. Pull this up. So the inner roof to the door sitting pretty well. It's the same the other side. And then the Kevlar roof. Let's go around here. So. Bad fitment to start off with. Again, air pillar's not too bad. Right, there's a lot to be done at the back. And if we look at the back, can we see? Yeah, you can sort of see that that angle needs to change. This has got to come down quite a bit. The reason why it's not sat down is these don't fit on very well. Because if you look underneath, I don't, didn't know where the kit fitted and what I needed to leave on the original car as regards metalwork, etc. So this, so it's interfering with this. So this will have to be cut back. Maybe this, because this edge here is actually this edge here so i think i'm gonna to have to cut out a section down here and then this will come down but as a very first rough first fit it's not bad uh, you can also see this how much this here it's got to be lifted up it's got to come up to here um, as we can see this side as well, this bit of metal, wants to shave back. And that'll come somewhere over like that. And over the edge. So we know it's a shitty cool wheels kit. And everybody says there's lots of fixment issues, but you know, as a first um, for a fit, I don't think that's bad at all. Oh, oh, we like. Obviously a little more trimming around here and that'll sit down a bit better. Same on the other side. That bit of trimming in here, so that sits down and sits on that. That'll bring that edge closer. So, uh, yeah, woohoo. Excited. We have movement after a few months. All right, let's get keep going then. The next step is to make this C pillar fit right at the back. So as I say, we've got to take some of this off. Right back to basically flange in here where this overlaps and down there. So this, this, so the whole of this section, you see there's some spot welds in there. So all this has got to be drilled out, pulled off. I'm gonna leave this for now because I don't know where the rear, rear um, wing sits. We'll just concentrate on this for now. So yeah, this section and this section, same on the other side. So, let's get those off.
that's one side done took enough off so we have to place the roof on obviously not tidying up still but we're still in rough fitment phase but yeah that should be enough to get the C pillar on uh, and we'll look at how much of this we have to take off when we fit their uh, actual rear wing on. So yeah, one side. One to go. And the second side. So let's see how the roof fits, shall we? Well, it is. Still a lot of fine tuning, but you can see it sat down much further than before. Almost looks like it's supposed to be there, eh? Now, well, pretty happy with that. Still lots to do, but we're getting there. Nice. I think that's enough for this episode. Cheers. Cheers.